Okay, to treat the quadratus lumborum, the pain pattern goes over the trochanter, that would, and that's often diagnosed as a trochanteric bursitis, or into the buttock area. Now, anytime there's low back pain of any type, disc pain issues, just lumbar spine pain, almost always, even though that's not the referral pattern, there's generally a quadratus pattern involved. In order to test the range of motion, I'm going to put the patient in the sideline position here, bring the arm back, and ideally the top shoulder, when I pull back, should be able to make contact with the table. And this is how much pressure we're going to get right now. Now we're going to bring the arm over the top of the head. This is going to help to pull the rib cage up. The leg is straightening down, pulling the iliac crest underneath. Ideally, that should allow us to get some room between the 10th rib and the iliac crest and we can come down. This table is a little high for doing this type of work, but there's a spot <coughs> right there. In order to palpate this easier, if I had her cough, this would jump up at me. <coughs> Good cough. Anyway, it usually doesn't take a whole lot of work on these fibers to be able to make some sort of change with somebody. And again, this is one of the ones that really pays off the most in any kind of low back pain. The other thing is if you have an imbalance in the upper body, almost always there's something wrong down lower here. Now in order to test out what we've just done, let's see again. If we get any distance out of her, and a little bit of a change. Now if you wanted to emphasize the lower fibers that go from the spine to the iliac crest, we would drop this leg in front. We'd still keep this arm up on top and I put my fingers down just above the iliac crest and in between the spine and palpate. And again, she could go ahead and cough for me and I'd feel those jump up and do some very light pressure here. And then to get the fibers that go <coughs> from the spine up to the 12th rib, what I would do is take the lower leg, bend it back, take the upper leg and bring it back so it's is resting, the patient doesn't fall, I can drop the other arm slightly forward here. And this emphasizes a stretch in that area coming from the spine up to the ribs. And again, I'm going to come right down below that 12th rib, just lateral to the erector group, and put a little bit of pressure in there. And the interesting thing with my pressure, notice my fingers are in there. I'm not using a lot of effort or pressure. I'm using body weight to supply any kind of pressure that goes into the area, and hopefully we'll have had some sort of a change. And bring her back into the same kind of position, and hopefully we'll have a change. There we go. Now, the test for this is what I'm going to call popcorn stretch. So let's sit up and face the camera. And this is the same thing we used for the external obliques just turning to the side to look out, and I always say that they're looking for popcorn to be coming in the movie theater, and then back to the center, and then to the opposite area. And there we have it.